The saga of Senator Mike Duffy took another turn today with a new round of questions about his expenses. The RCMP has filed court documents in connection to its investigation of the senator, alleging Duffy's office awarded Senate contracts to one of his friends for little to no work. And to make matters more mysterious, it's unclear where the money ended up. The CBC's Tom Perry has the details tonight. There was no answer at the door of Mike Duffy's house today, but answers are what police are looking for. New court documents reveal allegations of fraud and breach of trust. The RCMP alleged Duffy hired a friend as a consultant over an approximate four-year period and paid him a total of approximately $65,000 during that time for little or no apparent work. Duffy's friend was Gerald Donahue, a retired TV executive who knew Duffy back when he was a reporter pursuing politicians. The documents show Duffy hired Donahue to monitor media and brief the senator on current issues and to write and edit speeches. Donahue wasn't talking today and called police to keep reporters away from his house. But when the RCMP interviewed him, they found Donahue never did speech writing for Duffy. In fact, Donahue did not produce any tangible document, report, or work product. Donahue did own a construction supply company. In his conversations with police, he said the money he received was paid to the business and that he never personally received any of it. Donahue says he never funneled any money back to Duffy. The RCMP wants to see the company's bank records to find out where the money went. $65,000 is more money than most Canadian families earn in a year. It's treated like chump change. Police are getting a picture of Duffy's dealings from Stephen Harper's former chief of staff, Nigel Wright, the man who wrote a $90,000 check to help Duffy pay back different Senate expenses. The court documents show Wright turned over hundreds of pages of emails, as well as Duffy's confidential schedule. The documents also detail allegations against former conservative Patrick Brazo. Police accuse him of defrauding the Senate by filing inappropriate housing expense claims. This uh, government has la lost control of, uh, of both its ethics and its judgment. Senator Mike Duffy issued a statement tonight saying it would be inappropriate for him to comment on a matter still under police investigation. A new session of Parliament is set to begin next week. The Conservative government will be looking for a fresh start in the House of Commons, but that may be overshadowed by the lingering troubles here in the Senate. Tom Perry, CBC News, Ottawa.